Docs Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Docs Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. Good evening and welcome into the WHKY News for Thursday, the 1st of August. I'm Ralph Mangum. The WHKY News is on over-the-air TV every weekday on channel 14.2 and online at whky.com and on our YouTube channel. Our teleprompter continues to be non-functional, so bear with us. In today's top stories, according to published reports, a family member has said that the body of a man found Wednesday morning in Taylorsville is the body of 30-year-old Kenneth Matthew Marley Partee. The discovery of Mr. Partee's body was reported at 9.46 a.m. Wednesday. He was found behind the Habitat for Humanity Restore in West Taylorsville. Taylorsville Police Chief Michael Millsap says there is no evidence of foul play, but an autopsy will be performed. Chief Millsap said the body had been there for at least two days. Police have not confirmed the man's identity and have said only that the deceased was a black male. Unemployment rates increased across the Hickory metro area and across most of the state, according to the latest report. WHKY's Rob Eastwood has a rundown. The report showing the latest unemployment numbers was released this week by the North Carolina Department of Commerce Labor and Economic Analysis Division. It shows the unemployment rates for the month of June. Catawba County's unemployment rate is 4.1 percent. That's up from 3.5 in May. Alexander County is showing an unemployment rate of 3.9 percent, up from 3.4 in the last report. Burke County is showing a jobless rate of 4 percent even, up from 3.4 in May. And Caldwell County's unemployment rate is 4.1 percent, up from 3.5 in May. The unemployment rate for the Hickory Lenore Morganton Metropolitan Statistical Area or MSA is 4% even up from 3.5 in the May report. Hickory Lenore Morganton is tied for the sixth lowest unemployment rate among 15 MSAs in the state. The statewide unemployment rate is 4.1%. That's up from 3.5 in May. Unemployment rates increased in 98 counties and remained unchanged in two. The highest unemployment rate in North Carolina is in Scotland County at 7% even, while the lowest is in Buncombe County at 3.2%. Reporting from NC Works in Conover, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY News. Thank you, Rob. With news from the Hickory Police Department, here now is WHKY's Ariana Mack. Hickory Police Department has released the August edition of the Pay Attention in City Traffic Initiative. The Hickory Police Department's August Traffic Enforcement Pact, Pay Attention in City Traffic, will be located on 12th Avenue Northwest from 6th Street Northwest to Old Lenore Road. Enforcement will focus on distracted driving, speeding, following too close, and other traffic violations. Pedestrians are encouraged to cross safely, use crosswalks, cross at the corner, or other designated crossing areas, obey pedestrian signal indicators, and wear reflective materials when walking at night. Motor vehicle operators are urged to look for and yield to pedestrians, particularly at crosswalks and other designated crossings, as well as at all intersections. Also remember to look for pedestrians while turning. All motorists need to be vigilant, aware, and respectful of cyclists utilizing roadways. Bicycles are considered vehicles and must abide by all traffic laws, especially traveling in the same direction as other vehicular traffic and observing traffic lights or stop signs. All citizens utilizing City of Hickory roadways are asked to remain alert and obey all traffic laws to ensure the safety of all motorists, cyclists, and pedestrians. The Hickory Police Department thanks the citizens of Hickory for their effort to keep our city safe. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana. The Catawba County Board of Education has formed a committee of board members to review and discuss board self-evaluation district survey results. The committee will meet in the boardroom at 3 p.m. on Wednesday, August 7th at the Catawba County School Center for Administrative Services on North Anderson Avenue in Newton. No action will be taken. The committee meeting is open to the public. 
Rob, Ariana, and I have today's crime report coming up for you in just a moment. Ariana has some Caldwell County arrests with two suspects facing charges for trafficking opium or heroin. Rob has a Catawba County roundup with one suspect facing charges for sexual exploitation of a minor. I have one from Morganton and a couple of HPD arrests as well. In local sports, some soccer news involving the LR women's soccer coach, plus some LR basketball news and the latest from the Crawdads who had a good day yesterday. In Community Focus, Ariana has the details on two upcoming events at the Green Room Community Theater, and Rob has information on a new weather station in Alexander County. Partly cloudy and hot today. Depending on where you are, you may have seen an afternoon thunder shower. Highs will remain above 90 through the weekend and into the first part of next week. The chance of rain for the next few days has increased with a 55% chance tomorrow, a 70% chance Saturday, and a 25% chance Sunday. This time of year, you could say hot with a chance of thunderstorms just about every day, and you'd be right. The latest forecast is always available at WHKY.com. I'm Ralph Mangum, and you are watching the WHKY News.